Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a drink, it is time for some Path of Exile discussion. Welcome to day 20 of Teaser Season for patch 3.25 and the upcoming Settlers of Kalgur expansion. Today's video is going to be really short because there are no additional recently asked questions, there are only a few changes to the patch notes, and there's only one official announcement. But there's also something unofficial, and that is some information that's been circulated around the traps around what some of the new divination cards might do. None of this is confirmed yet, but I've heard rumours that Father's Love is going to be for Sublime Vision, Avian Pursuit is going to be for Calandra's Touch, Temperance is going to be for a random, unique Sanctum Relic, Lonely Warrior is going to be for Defiance of Destiny, and Toxic Tidings is going to be for a two implicit Krangled Dendrobate. We'll find this out officially when the League actually goes live, so consider these to be unconfirmed rumours for the moment. Next in the patch notes, there are some changes to the way that Spectres are going to behave that are going to be quality of life only, but that are going to be fairly significant. Most notably, Spectre Banks are going to be much easier to manage in your hideout, and you're not going to need to have an unusually high maximum number of Spectres in order to participate in Spectre Banking. Secondly, Fungal Ground, the changes that are being made to it are being slightly changed, but this is still a nerf to the Uber Cortex exclusive Rational Doctrine. I'm really hoping Grinding Gear Games fix up some of the problems with Uber Cortex. It's in a worse place in 3.24 than it was in 3.23, and this is going to make it slightly worse again. And finally in the patch notes, there is a typo correction. Coiled Staff is not actually getting buffed, because the value that it was being listed as being buffed to was actually what it was in 3.24. So basically no change to that base. Now the new information that's from an official announcement, this is the Settlers of Calgo Challenge Rewards. These are really cool, I'll put a link to the official Grinding Gear Games video down in the description below. They're moving away from the idea of having four different tiers of an armor set, and instead, they're just individual rewards. 12 challenges, you're going to get the rune bind weapon effect. 24 challenges, you're going to get the rune character effect. This is the one of these that doesn't hit for me, I like most of the rest of them, but this one's a bit of a miss in my opinion. Hopefully, you like it more than I do. 32 challenges is the Calgarian Cloak, and then at 34 challenges we have the cool one, the Varusium Knight Finisher Effect. This is in my opinion the best of the new challenge prizes, although the 36 challenge one is good as well. Here, this is a rare monster finisher effect, or maybe it's a unique monster finisher effect, and it causes this knight to go with a huge donking slam onto the target that you're killing, and then that target goes splat. It looks really cool, and I like monster finishing effects in general. And then of course for 36 we get this spectacular portal, the King's March portal effect which is one of the best ones that we've seen in a while in my opinion, and it looks really good when you've got six of them around a map device. Anyway, that is all of the news today. I told you this would be really short. May Valobs have interesting results, and I am still working on a video that is going to be on Atlas strategies and how they should impact your league start. That is going to be an epic, and I'm hoping to have that out when this video is about 15 hours old.